Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Alpha Bravo. Today is a review on Metroplex from the G1 series. And this I got from eBay, not a fully completed, but still pretty cool. This can open up. You can put little transformers in here, G1 or modern ones. And he has a base mode and a battle mode. So I'll be right back. There is battle mode. Battle mode is pretty cool. Not the best as well. But this is G1. So you're not going to expect it a lot. You're not going to see too much. But pretty cool. You can put your jets, cars. But I don't have all the guns, so I can show you a picture of what it looks like with all of its guns. And this is where the arm cannon is, the second one, but I don't have that. This is the shoulder. No, what is it? Shoulder cannon? Or, yeah, but it has a gun over here, rockets here. And that's it. If you're planning on getting one, get it on eBay. You won't see any full completed ones, but it you can buy the pieces separately. So you don't have to buy it all. Cost it on eBay $40. Not a cheap transformer, but still pretty cool for some collectors. Moving on to base mode base mode right here base mode like I said pretty cool but but kind kind of a little bit not good but I said it wrong it's not the best base mode I have Crypticon but that's a, that's another review on and the ramp is another, you can put, like I said, other transformers and stuff. And that's it. You can, this is where the tank is supposed to go on. And the gun, there's supposed to be a building here. A building. And you can put, like, a gun. And all of his guns make is this, this certain character called... Six guns, not six shot, but six guns. Or all he is is made of out of guns. So I don't have that. I'll show you a picture of what he looks like. Right here, this is supposed to be this piece, but I don't have a second one. Okay. Right here, you can put blades or vortex. There weren't many transformer helicopters. But yeah, still pretty cool. This gun does not come off. If you're, you can put this gun inside. And do this. But my opinion looks weird, so I've heard that that was. So moving on to robot mode. I know I showed it, but this is going to be the size comparison soon. Moving on. He is compared to Giant Godzilla. And giant Mecha Godzilla. Close to his size, but still, still a pretty, still a big toy, I guess. Kind of. It's not the biggest toy, but because it was the GI, because the true biggest toy, the uh, well, the was the GI Joe aircraft carrier. I'm also chewing on gum, if you're wondering what that sound is. But yeah. G.I. Joe and Fort Max were the two largest. Well, now it's, um... It used to have been Metroplex when the... When Titans... When Titan class... Titans class... Metroplex came in. It was larger than G1. Fort Max. But then they... 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 They made Fort Max and Transformers Time's Return. And he was a 
bigger than Metroplex. He was a re a re mold of Metroplex, but he was still but he was a little bit bigger. And Fort Max is still the biggest Transformer toy. But here he is compared to giant Mecha Godzilla as well. Mecha Godzilla's a little bit shorter than Godzilla for some odd reason. I don't know why they did that, but yeah. But I still like this. This is hard to find as well. This not. This you can just buy on eBay. But this is hard. You can buy this on eBay and other except for Target. Amazon. Only in Walmart they sell this, but scalpers are looking for high prices on this. So if you're looking for this, you're going to have to get it online. So I'll see you in the next video.